Hey friends, Miss Wendy here with the Fairfield Public Library and today we are going to be making a robotic hand either out of paper or out of chipboard. So either way that you'd like to make it. Also, these straws are going to act like bones and these strings are going to act like tendons. And so the tendons are going to move the hand. So when you pull on the strings, the hand will move. How cool is that? You have three straws, a piece of chipboard, a hand template, yarn. And you'll just need scissors, a pencil, and you'll also need tape, tape, lots of tape. And optional items are a glue stick and markers or crayons or whatever you like to draw with. So come on with me and I'll show you how to make a robotic hand. We'll cut out our hand template. All right, nice job. So Now, use your template to trace your hand on your chipboard and cut it out. Mark where the joints are and where your straws are going to go. There are lines going on your hand vertically up and down and then there are also lines going across horizontally. So what we are going to do now is grab one of our straws and we're going to cut out the straw to match the length of each of these. So the first one we're going to cut it just about like that and it doesn't have to be super precise but um, we want to pretty much get that size, okay? And these will go flying, so if you want to hold on to them while you cut, that would be a good idea. If that is kind of difficult for you, you can grab your pencil or a marker and just make a mark where you want to cut for each of these. So from here to here, that's the next cut. And then from here, the top to the bottom is right there. Okay, so go ahead and cut out all of your straws for each of these pieces. And one thing I wanna point out is that if your straw ends up looking like this, you can just pop it and it'll open back up again. Now, I'm gonna take my tape and I am just going to tape each piece right on the line. But if you see, this piece of tape is going to be a little bit too big for this small piece of straw. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tear my tape right like that and I'm going to I'm going to use one piece of it. I'm going to put that tape right on the straw and then I'm going to tape my straw down. Now when you tape the straw down onto the paper you want to make sure to keep the opening so don't press it so hard that the opening uh, gets closed up, okay? So here we go. I'll show you what I mean. So you wanna leave this open because what's gonna happen, see like that? Can you see that? Yeah. So what's gonna happen is we are gonna put yarn through and we need a little space in between each straw so that 
our hand can bend, okay? Each of these lines is gonna be where your hand and your fingers are bending. Those are the joints. So just go ahead and match each of the straw pieces and tape them on to each of the lines, just like that. All right, so now that you have all of the straws on the fingers, then you can just bend your hand at the joint line and just bend it, don't fold it all the way. All right, make sure all of these fold okay. Great, and now <clears throat> we're going to cut straws to this size and tape them down. So we'll measure, and they're all about the same size. So you can just go ahead and cut one and then cut the others from that. And then we will tape these down. On those lines. All right, and now we are going to go ahead and take our yarn and string each one of these through. You can go from the top down or from the bottom up. It could be a little tricky, but just keep at it. We're just going to turn our hand over, pull these pieces of yarn down one at a time, and then we're just gonna fold each piece over the finger and place a piece of tape on that finger. Now we're doing the blue. I'm gonna find the blue on this side. I'm gonna gently bring it down. If we do it too, too fast, we're gonna have to string it all over again. And I'm going to put some tape right there. And if you're, if you're um, having to fold the tape over, just make sure not to obstruct these openings on the straw. And there you are, your robotic hand ready for use. And you can bend each finger for a couple at a time. You can decorate this side. So you'd have a decorated hand on one side and a robotic hand on the other. And as always, remember to clean up. Thanks so much for joining me, friends. I hope you enjoyed making your hand. Please check our calendar for more DIY craft events, and we'll wave bye-bye. Bye-bye.